Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the copium has paid off. The mini box is announced, which means it's probably not going to take a long time before it's actually officially out in the game because Konami just doesn't like leaks. So they announce something and then like a day or two later, it comes out. So it's here now. We didn't get any heads up, but it's here. And looks like, just just looked at it a little bit here. I haven't looked at it too in depth. Looks like we've got some chronomalies. Looks like we have brain control. We talked about that brain control errata a few videos back. Let's read the individual cards. Let's see exactly what we got. We're going to ignore the Konami combos because they're usually wrong anyway. Sorry, Konami. Rank 6 exceeds. Oh my god. Thunder Dragon, or what do we got here? Machine. All right. When this card's exceed summon, you can target one number monster in your graveyard. Equip that target to this card. This card gains attack equal to half the attack of that equipped monster. Once per turn, you can detach one exceed material from this card, then send the monster equipped by this effect to the graveyard. Half your opponent's life points. You cannot conduct your battle phase the turn you activate. I wonder if this if they're actually going to have... Oh, if this is like fish officially updated or if they're gonna half it on top of that too it's pretty crazy anyway interesting card i believe we don't know the skills for chronomaly yet either and which is an anime deck so we don't know if uh if if if, if this is gonna be it or if there's gonna be more to them uh we got crystal skull if you control a chronomaly monster you can discard this card to the graveyard add one chronomaly monster from your deck or your graveyard to your hand Except the skull. You can only use this effect once per turn. All right, you got some search in there. Ooh, this was the other card that was in the leaks. Or not the leaks, but the rarity changes, rather. Junk Puppet. Target one gimmick puppet monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. You can only activate one junk puppet per turn. Got some gimmick puppet support there. Uh, got ourselves uh, rank four. Uh, number 36, we also saw this, and the rarity changes too. Once per turn, during either player's turn, detach an XC material from this card, then target one face of monster your opponent controls, change its attack to zero until the end of this turn. You can tribute one Chronomaly monster, target one monster in your opponent's that, whose current attack is different from its original attack, destroy that target, okay? Uh, Gorganic Guardian, two level three rocks. Once per turn, during either player's turn, you can detach material from this card. Target one face-up monster, your point of controls, its attack becomes a zero. And if it does, its effects are negated. So kind of with those Gorgon themes, uh, there's like a whole archetype in the game, a whole bunch of reptile Gorgons. This is just some more of them, pretty much. <laughs> cool. Uh, number 30, Acid Golem of Destruction. Two level three monsters during your standby phase, detach an XC material from this card or take a thousand damage. You cannot special summon any monsters. When this card has no XC materials, it cannot attack. Interesting, interesting. Um, during your standby phase, detach one material or take a thousand damage. You cannot special summon any monsters. G give it to your opponent. All right, cool. Um, you've got Diamond King Crab, or Crab King, rather. Uh... Rank four, once per turn, you can detach a material from this card, change it, this card's defense to zero, and if you do, change its attack to 3,000. These changes last until the end of this turn. Uh, this card attacks, it's changed defense position at the end of the battle phase. If this card's attack, change it to attack position at the end of the damage step. Uh, if it has no exceed materials, you can only use this. Okay, so interesting, a little bit of switch switchy route between the attack and defense. You see it has uh, 3,000 defense there. Uh, we've got the Nebra Disc. When this card is normal summoned, you can add one Chronomaly card from your deck to your hand, except to the Nebra Disc. If this card is in your graveyard and all other monsters you control are Chronomaly monsters, you can special summon in defense positions to help you boost out your Exceed monster. So again, this really comes down to the skill, right? We need, we need the skill to really understand if this will be any good at the end of the day. <laughs> because so far, the cards seem a little underwhelming, but that's okay. We're looking at skills. and All anime decks suck until we get the skill. Uh, Kage Mucha Knight, when, the, when you normal summon a level 3 monster, you can special summon this card from your hand, this card cannot be used as a synchro material monster, another rarity card, uh, change as well, uh, that we saw earlier, uh, that we were talking about Psychic Wielder and Tracker, me and Kamel, so good to see that that's there, ZW Asura Strike, uh, you can target one Utopia monster you control. Equip this card from your hand or your side of the field to that target. It gains a thousand attack. While this card is equipped to a monster, that monster can attack all monster your opponent controls once each. All right. Uh, 
Condolence Puppet. Send one gimmick puppet monster with different names from your deck to the graveyard, up to the number of monsters your opponent controls that were special summoned from the extra deck. Uh, plus one. You can banish this card from your graveyard, target one machine type exceed monster you control. It cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects while face up in the field. You can only use uh, each effect once per turn. Okay, more more gimmick support. More gimmick support. I like this with different name from your deck to the graveyard, up to the number of monsters your opponent controls. Okay. Okay, interesting, interesting. I wonder if gimmicks, because gimmicks, the consistency wasn't necessarily the problem. The strength of the deck um, was kind of a little lackluster. No turn one play is really bad, too. So we'll have to see if this, I, this these are good cards. Both of these are really good cards. I just don't know if it'll necessarily really boost them, but we'll see. Brain Control. So this is the, the if you know Brain Control from the past, this is this is the new Brain Control. So it's not as as, as powerful as you once thought it was. Pay a hundred life points. Target one face up monster your opponent controls that can be normal summoned set. So if it's a nor a monster that cannot be normal summoned or set, you cannot take control of it. So that <laughs> locks you out of a lot of things. But it could be an interesting side deck card. I don't think so, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, uh, so if you have anything that specifically says this card has to be special summoned, or if it's a card that can, you know, from the extra deck, can't use brain control on it. Exceed Gift. Uh, if you control two or more face-up Xyz monsters, attach two materials from a monster you control and draw two cards. Okay. Uh, kind of a crazy, you have to have two face-up Xyz monsters, and then you have to attach two materials from a monster. It doesn't even say that you can have from individual monsters. I don't know if that's worth it. <laughs> I don't think that's worth it at all. Uh, you know what? I bet you this is going to be used in some dumb FTK thing. I'm calling it now. Uh, we got a three level five, rank fives. Uh, once per turn, you can detach one XC material from those cards, send the top three cards from your opponent's deck to the graveyard. Then if any monsters are sent to the graveyard effect, destroy cards in your opponent's control up to the number of monsters set. That's a pretty interesting effect, but three level five monsters? That's a huge, huge, huge oof. That's a huge cost to pay. I don't know. See if there's any cards that can work with that. Uh, One-eyed skill gainer. Three level fours. Uh, you can detach one XC material from this card to target one face-up monster. Or XC monster part controls. That card's name and or, an original effect become the same. Or this card's name and original effect comes the same to that monster. This effect can only be used once while this card. Can only be used once while this card is face-up in the field. Oof. Nice effect, but only once is kind of <laughs> unfortunate. Uh, um... Chronomaly Soul Monolith. Once per turn, you can target one uh, Chronomaly monster control. Its level becomes level six. Um, you cannot special summon monsters turn you activate this card. This is an interesting card. I wonder if this card will be will relate to the skills. This seems like one of those cards that relates to the skills uh, whenever they get announced. Wing Sphinx. Uh, you can target... When this card is normal summon, you can target one level five Chronomaly card in your graveyard. Special summon that target. Okay, okay. Uh, you cannot special summon monsters turn you activate this effect except... Uh, Chronomal Chron Chronomaly Monsters. Eagle Claw, ZW. Uh, Eagle Claw, if your opponent's life points are at least 2,000 higher than yours, you can special this. <laughs> Look at all that text, bro. You can target one utopic monster you control. Uh, it gains 2,000 attack. Once per turn, while this card is equipped to a monster, uh, when a trap or a trap effect is activated, your opponent's side of the field, they get the effect. Okay, some more ZW weapon stuff that's never really popped off before. Stone Statue of the Aztecs, double any battle damage your opponent takes when they attack this card. Okay, some stall. Nice, nice. Different Dimension Dragon. This card cannot be destroyed by spell traps that do that do not target it. <laughs> this card cannot be destroyed by battle with a monster that has 1,900 or less attack. Let's go stall. Probably not going to be using this too much, though. Uh, Chronomaly City Babylon. Once per turn, you can banish... Uh, one Chronomaly Monster in your graveyard. Target one Chronomaly Monster in your graveyard with the same levels as the Banished Monster. Special Summon it. Field Spell. Okay. This deck's looking consistent. It's just, yeah, anime decks, man. They I need to see the skills before I pass judgment on it. Because so far, this box seems like make it or break it for, for them. Although that Junk Support does look nice. So Junk, or not, sorry. Um, junk's, yes, but Puppet. Not, not Junk. Junk is... Uh, is just the name of the card, but it's gimmick puppet support. <laughs> it's looking nice. Dark World Shackles. Oh, wow. We're still in the Dark Worlds here? Quip Monster cannot attack. Uh, 
Also, its attack and defense couldn't become 100 during each standby phase. Inflict 250 to equip monster. Okay. Uh, exceed extreme. <laughs> Oh, uh, God. When an XC monster you control is destroyed by battle, pay a thousand life. You reveal one XC monster from the extra of the rank less than or equal to the destroyed monster, so your opponents, so you, so can your opponent simultaneously. The opponent with the reveal monster lower attack takes equal to, uh, if the opponent doesn't reveal a monster, inflict damage. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is just a, like a meme card. But I'm down with it, dude. That's fine. Um... Here we've got Release, Reverse, Burst, uh, Tribute 1 Utopia Monster, Destroy All Set Spell Trap Cards Your Opponent Controls. Amazing effect, but I don't know if you want to destroy a Utopia Monster just for that. Um, let's see what else we got. We got Purge Ray, Tribute 1 Exceed Monster. During the end phase, Special Summon from your extra deck 1 number monster with the same type, but 1 rank lower as a Tribute Monster from the field. All right. Um, Unbreakable Spirit. If you control only one face-up monster, target that monster until the end phase against attack equal to the attack of the monster your opponent currently controls lowest attack. Okay, so these are these are and these are all normals down here. So they're all pretty much irrelevant unless you want to talk about Dodo -do, do Warrior, <laughs> which is you know not exactly anything that we're super curious about. So. Overall thoughts, again, I really think it, it will ultimately come down to how good is 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 the skill going to be, right? Because, and I'm sure we're going to get the skills soon. We'll figure out the skills, the event cards. Uh, we need to figure out, you know, exactly what those will be because as it stands right now, nothing out here really jumps at me and goes, oh my god, this is so amazing without an anime skill. Uh, to 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 go into to to it, uh, the the gimmick puppet stuff does look nice though. So I am interested to see if any current gimmick puppet players uh, can use the this card, and then the uh, the SR as well wherever it went. Um, it's somewhere here. Oh, there it is. Very very interesting effects to to boost up gimmick puppets. So I'm gonna be very interested to see how well they're gonna they're gonna be good. Uh, brain control. I could see it maybe being ending up in in the side deck, but it's not nearly as powerful as it used to be. Uh, so we'll see how that goes out with them. Um, and then from there, we'll just see, man. I I think we're waiting to see anime skills. That's going to be the big go-to. What are the anime skills going to look like? I'm just glad that there's a box, period, you know, uh, after spending so much time uh in the drought that we have been in. Uh, this is this is a welcome sight. Even if it's even if it ends up not being good. I think just getting people to play new things, uh, experience new things a lot, or experience new things in the tournaments, specifically here at DLE, is going to be super, super awesome, and I can't wait. You tell me your comments on the YouTubes. Let me tell it. Let me, just let me know what you think. Thank you, boys. Peace out.